All right, so it's time for me to make a video addressing why I've been so inactive on my YouTube channel. And this is gonna be a pretty long video because I got some explaining to do. So if you're not the type of person that likes to listen to lengthy conversations, then the door's right there. Or you can just put the video up and do something else. Do whatever you want. So all right, let's just get this started with, shall we? So, um... I have a lot of things that I want to talk about in this video, especially the game that I'm playing right now and show you my progress, but let's get the important thing out of the way. So I think my last stream on YouTube was about 10 days ago, right? I'm not exactly sure, so let me just go check right now because I don't I don't really check my YouTube channel if I'm being honest with you, so uh, my last stream was two weeks ago. And I somehow still have 11.9k subscribers. Uh, <laughs> I, I don't know how I still can retain that number, but it's probably gonna go away soon if I don't come back to YouTube. So yeah, my last stream on Anime Adventures was two weeks ago. And that was the last time I actually hopped on Anime Adventures to even do remotely anything. Because Eventually, the next updates or the updates after that Gilgamesh update was just gonna be another portal grind. And I guess you could say the reason why I'm playing Anime Champions right now, which is a game released I think a week ago, is because I'm getting bored of Anime Adventures. Now, 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 I know when I play Anime Adventures, I remembered saying, oh, I'm gonna enjoy this game. Like, I'm gonna enjoy every last bit of this game and play it until my YouTube channel dies out. And that didn't happen because I got quite bored of the game pretty fast and I think this goes without saying that if you are attached to a game for too long, in this case for me, Anime Adventures, if you play the game for a very long time, you'll gradually start to get bored of the game and you kinda have that feeling that you don't want to play it anymore you just want to try out something else and grind that game and once that said game gets boring you can return back to anime adventures and do whatever the game has to offer i mean probably portals but but the thing with portals and anime adventures is that i have no problems with it it's just that it's getting so repetitive like the portal grinding thing it's not unique at all they really need to incorporate a new method of obtaining secret units except portals every single update. I know they're not gonna listen to me because I'm a nobody to them but please anime adventures you gotta do something about these portals man. But anyways that's the exact reason why I'm on ACS right now. The gameplay of ACS when I first got introduced to the game was a bit confusing because I never played anime fighters, I've never played any game similar to anime champions, but the one thing that I do know is that anime, like anime champions right here, is pretty much the better game of the other games I mentioned. Any game that's similar to anime champions in any way, probably has no competition and let me just explain guys because you just gotta see this okay, if you don't play ACS. So the thing with ACS is that the game passes in this game, you can buy them with in-game currency like diamonds. And I know these numbers look very huge and you think they are hard to get because right now I have 2k gems but don't get too worried. The reason why I have 2k gems now is because I spent them on other game passes like these three, this one and these two. The most recent game pass I bought was this one and that took away most of my gems. So in terms of gems in this game, they are definitely somewhat hard to get. But I wouldn't say they are too hard to get though, they are quite easy so I'll give it a moderate rating. Like a basically moderate means medium so I'll say they are quite moderate to get. And I think the new tree codes give you some gems, so you can use that and buy your first game pass on the game, preferably this one first and this one. Just do whatever you want guys. And um, right now, I think, uh, let me show you my progress real quick, right? Right now I got three guns, one free Gojo, another Gojo, and oh I just got a mythic there, I saw that, but it wasn't godly so don't matter. But 
Yo, yesterday, this is kinda irrelevant, but yesterday, I think I had the most luckiest moment of my life in ACS, and let me just explain. So yesterday, I'm not sure if they buffed the cosmic rates, I think they did, or whatever rates they buffed. Like, I actually got two guns, one Gojo, and one Godly Kilwa in a row. I got, like, I got these four in one day. And then I think the day after that, I tried to roll the premium medals, which are basically, um, what was it called again? Yeah, traits in Anime Adventures. They're the same thing, just a different name to it. I had 25, it will only need one. If you have a premium medal to reroll a quirk, got Assassin on Gone, got Giant on Kilo. I mean, they're not Black Hole or Celestial, but I think they'll do me just fine, so. And I still don't have a black hole actually, so I gotta get one pretty fast if I'm gonna carry viewers in this game. And when I say that, I do mean it guys. I do plan to stream this game very soon once I get more experienced and acquainted with the game. Once I got more knowledge about this game and whatever it has to offer, I will stream this game. I feel like it would be stupid of me to stream a game that I have no knowledge or sense of, so I gotta get the hang of this game first. And once I'm done with all of that, I can stream the game, which will be pretty soon. So yeah guys, do keep an eye out for my ACS streams. I do want to stream this game soon because all I have to do is carry people in raids, get good quirks, sit here and open like my capsules, like open my orbs. And I can do something else after that, which is maybe play another game. So like this is my type of game right here where you have to do just nothing. You get rare units by summoning, I mean it's kinda hard to get cosmics but I mean if I get to stand here and do nothing with an auto clicker, I'm fine with that. The best part about this game is that you don't even need an auto clicker because I've heard in this recent update is that once you get kicked out for being AFK, you get put in the public lobby and it continues summoning for you which is very good guys. So this game is looking very bright right now. I can definitely see this game, like I can see this game surviving for a very long time on the Roblox platform. So the devs of this game, they have my gratitude, they have my respect guys. The devs of this game, they actually listen to people's opinions, their suggestions and they put it into the game. They actually give it some thought. And that's the problem with anime adventures, they don't really care about what you have to say, kinda like ASTD. I don't know what is with the devs not listening to their player base in tower defense games but it is what it is guys. If you're not gonna listen, you're gonna start losing your player base so keep that in mind. I don't know why I have to tell you this but it's kinda common sense if you think about it so yeah right now if you were to ask me, I'm having a blast on ACS. Like I can just sit here like I said before and play other games in the meantime and I low-key kinda need help with impossible raids, so I might need some people to help me with that if you do play this game. Like I am trying to get a black hole or a celestial on my godly Ichigo, I don't think I've mentioned him. I think I forgot about him because he has bad quirks. Like I wanna get good quirks on this guy and wait for the raid for the new HXH map right here, so yeah guys, that's what I've been doing this whole time. Just sitting right here, playing ACS, without anything bothering me, you know? And Anime Adventures, I wouldn't say I'm quitting the game. I'm, I still very much enjoy Anime Adventures and what it has to offer. Just not the portal side of the game, you know? The portal grinding, yeah, I'm not a fan of that guy, so hopefully they change that pretty soon. But I am going to be playing both games simultaneously. I'm not sure about a schedule yet, but I will be playing both games just to let you know. Anyways, I think I spoke a bit too much in this video, so I'm gonna end this right here. And see what you guys have to say in the comments below, and I'll try to reply to them I guess so. Alright, have a good rest of your day guys. Peace!